Hi guys, I'm um, back again. So it's been a while since I've uh, last put up a video, but what we're going to do is start trying to, in 2019, we're going to start trying to put into a a lot more effort and putting a lot more videos up, and hopefully we can uh, start teaching you some things this year. Right, so first of all, when we get back into it, uh, we're going to transition over here into our Corel Draw. Um, the one that I'm using at the moment is Corel Draw 2018. And what we can do is open up the file in the new file. Uh, we might label this one as just being a, what we'll do is um, we'll make it a uh, cake topper. So we'll go uh, cake topper. And we want to make sure that our file size is 457 by 305 because that's the size of our bed on our laser. Uh, and we want to make sure that the color mode's in RGB. So that's all we have to worry about there. So we start this up and to be able to make up a nice little cake topper, what we'll do is we'll just write uh, happy birthday and we'll just leave it as happy birthday for the moment. What we'll do is we'll increase the size in fact, we might leave that on there. We'll just choose a font. When it loads, it's taking a little while. And we'll find a font like this one, I guess. We might just move this up a bit closer. Grab a hold of that and pull this out to try and increase it up to about we're looking at somewhere, we lock this up so that way the um, they'll stay uniform there. So what we'll do is we'll write it in there to be about probably 150 mil wide. That's about the size that we need it. And we can leave this just like that. Uh, what we need to do is make sure that all these thin pieces are not going to be too thin to be able to cut. So what we need to do is just get a um, this tool over here. Grab hold of it there and grab hold of it there. And the size of that is going to be one mil high. So what we'll need to do is because it's only one mil high, I'll press Control Z, which gets rid of that box. And what we're going to do is select this contour tool, click on that one, and open that up. Not by that far, but that's too far. Probably go half a mil, which will be fine. And this one here, make that half a mil as well. So what that's doing is actually making an outline. If I change the color here, change it to this red, so you can see how it's just increasing the size of it by 0.5 mil on either side. So that there was already one mil as it was, that's gonna be another half a millimeter on either side. So we're gonna have two mils um, thickness in all these thin pieces. And because our MDF that we're gonna be using is three mil, that's going to be plenty big enough. So we can just go back. Oh, we'll just leave that out there. What we can do is now is go to Object Manager. Press on that little box. Go down to this one here, which is right click and then break contour apart. And do that one. Right click, break contour apart. What I'll do now is just delete the text parts. And what I'll find is because this has made a little funny thing just there on that sort of font, I'll grab this picker tool up here, the shape tool, select on this, I can come down here and just delete that and press delete. And then I might want to delete just that one node, delete. And then because the dot isn't attached to the eye, what I'll do is I'll select all these nodes I'll drag them down, so they're just going over past this. Getting nice and close. I'm just using the zoom, zoom on my mouse. And what we can do is make some nodes nice and close. I'll just double click, double, double click, double click, double click. Now I can select on this line here, press delete, 
select on this one, press delete, select those two, delete, and then now I can just join these up. And the easiest way is just to grab hold of those two, or select those two, and then come up here and just press join. And go to those two, and just press join, and there you go. And that looks like the only one that we have to do it to because all the others are all joined together. Which looks nice and pretty. Now what we want to do is get a little spike. So the way I make spikes is I just get the, the box tool and I just uh, make up a, a nice little rectangle there. I'll take this here back off because I want to change um, the aspect of it. So I want to better make it the size that I need which is going to be... Uh, five mil wide just for a little bit of strength and then we'll make it probably about 65 mil high that way it's high enough to better uh, poke down into the cake then what I do to make this into a spike is I right click on that shape press convert to curves then go over to this uh, shape tool zoom in nice and close go up to about halfway there and I'm using the top bar here to, to help me with the alignment so I, I don't have to worry about trying to manually adjust all the nodes. And I can just grab hold of this one and then this one. And then I guess to be about somewhere in the middle, which is about there. You can be a bit more accurate if you like, but this will be good enough. Press delete on that node and then press delete on that node. And then that way, a nice little spike. We can use this spike to put it in around about there somewhere. And all I'm looking for is just to make sure that these two nodes here go up inside of the shape nice and easily. In fact, we could go down a little bit just to get the alignment of it up inside because we don't want any part of it sticking out at all. Now, because everything's all touching, everything's going to work all right, what we'll do is just select the whole lot of these and press join. So it just joins everything together and then we change it to our colors. So I've got my colors set up over here to what the Rayjet understands which this black one means when it's in there like that it'll engrave all this area. When it's on that red one it'll um, just outline cut out uh, which is what, what they usually do but I've actually got that set up at the moment to do a deeper type engrave. Um, this one here I've got that one set up to do a outline etch so it doesn't cut right through it just etches it but follows the outline and that one there's the one that I've got set up to do the outline cut so what we need is to right click on that and left click on there then that way it's just got the outline and we've got to make sure that this outline is a hairline so that 0.2 mil the laser is going to try and uh, engrave all that which we want to Put on hairline and then now it's going to follow it as a line. And there you go. There's no little tiny bad bits or anything and that's going to look good. So I've had some requests before of people just wanting to make sure that these here are going to be strong enough and to make a good enough lettering. So what I'll do is I'll cut this one here out and we'll be able to see how this is going to look. So I'll just put this up over here and move it up just a little bit closer just like that that gets it ready there to print so what we need to do to be able to print this is I might just save it off just to make sure nothing's going to happen we'll just save it into uh, We'll just save it right here, we'll do, and just press save. And that way we don't have any problems with that one. Now what we do is we go and get the uh, laser and we'll just press print. Make sure it's on Rayjet, so that's the, um, the laser that we want to be able to use. And we'll press preferences. Just wait for it to start up. There it is there trying to load. Now we just want to choose the material. So this cake topper that we're going to make, 
we're probably going to put it in a wood so we'll just use this one here oh there we go we'll roll down here to where we want the MDF so I'm just going to cut this out into 3 mil MDF oops there we go so they're our colors that we've got set up which is the same as these colors over here so we've got them as being the black is going to engrave the red is also engraving but at a, a, a slower speed so that way it engraves a bit deeper this one here is going to cut it but it's only cutting it at a fast speed so it's not going to cut very deep and then this one is the one where it's going to cut but it's going to cut very very slowly so that way it'll burn right through the wood and cut it all out now what we can do is just go move over to next and we can move this onto color because we're using the different colors there to be able to engrave so we need to use that one um, we've got our DPI up fairly high which doesn't really make too much difference on the cutting out of objects it's only more when it's um, engraving and then we just need to make sure this is on standard and not on stamp because we don't want it to engrave the entire area that's white and then that's it so we just press go and when we turn our laser on we can press print so let's go and turn the laser on yeah, i just got the um i'm out here at my laser and i've just got a piece of three mil mdf that i'm going to use to put into the laser and we'll just sit, sit that in there close this lid you can fire it up It's going to start up, the bed's going to lower down, there it goes, just got to wait for it, okay the head's going to just home over there, there we go, now the head's home, you start lifting this bed up, and I open this here up and just use this little alignment tool to align for the depth. Bring the bed height up to it. And there we go. Now the laser's aligned up, ready to go. We'll close this uh, lid down. Now we're just going to come back over here to this computer and we'll just press print. And then you see the printer sending it down there to the ray jet. We double click on that ray jet one. And because we've got that position right where we want in that top corner, we don't have to worry about none of this. And we can just press start on the printer. There we go. So we just open this up, take out this piece of wood, and then we we'll laser cut part of it out of it. And here it is. Just pop these little things here out. Shut the laser, we'll lower the bed. Shut that laser down. There we go. We'll go clean this up. And there we go. It's all done. So uh, here's the, the finished cake topper. And hopefully we haven't got too much problems with the thing. There we go. So what we've got is the um, cake topper. It's nice and strong there. It's not going to break. And there we go. So I'll just show you a couple of little photos of it. Thank you. 
So there you go, we've just done a nice little video, uh, just showing you the whole process right from the from start to end of uh, starting up in Creole Draw, drawing up some uh, some words or making up a little cake topper. Uh, we made the little happy birthday topper in Creole Draw, then showed you how to send it off to the laser to get cut, and then the process of it getting cut and how it comes out the finished product. So if you like any more videos like that, uh, please subscribe and, uh, and we'll try and make a fair few more for you. All right, thank you very much, catch you later.